For me personally, the most endearing property of the universe was revealed through an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. It was called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, and it showed 10,000 galaxies in a field of view that's exactly like holding out a grain of sand on the end of your finger, holding up against the sky. Now, the amount of sky that grain of sand obscures is the field of view of the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. And the Hubble Telescope took this picture for 11 days, one million second exposure. It actually rotated around the Earth 400 times before it completed the exposure of this part of the sky. One millimeter square part of the sky. And in this image, there were 10,000 galaxies. Now, one of the really incredible things about looking at the nighttime sky, when you think about it, is that you don't get any sense of depth perception. You can't, for instance, look at the stars and say, well, that star's close to me than this one is, and that one's further away. You can't do it, right? And if you don't think that that's true, try stepping outside tonight, maybe, and have a look at the nighttime sky, and you will see that you can't get a sense of depth perception. What the Hubble Ultra Deep Field did was provide that third dimension to the sky. And when we really look in deep into the third dimension of the sky, we see that by using telescope, we don't only look at the sky, but we actually look back in time itself. And when we look back in time itself, we see galaxies that have evolved about a billion years after the Big Bang itself. So being able to look back at that part of the universe and actually see it, this was the realm of conjecture and dreams that could we ever see this part of the universe? The universe when it was one billion years old. Well, the answer is yes, we can and we do. And by looking at the Hubble at a deep field and plotting the distances to these galaxies, we actually see the origins of the universe itself. And that to me is phenomenal. And when we remember, of course, the tiny field of view of this, this image, we'd need another 13 million of them to make the entire sky around us. And just one grain of sand obscures 10,000 galaxies. We live in one galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. And it has around about 200,000 million stars in it. We spin around one star in one galaxy. In the known universe, we believe there are 200,000 million galaxies. And beyond that, it's what we call our cosmic light horizon, is the rest of the complete universe. What's in that? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but it is certainly there.